Hi guys, it's Tyx here and welcome to our channel. Today we're featuring Domain Lucia and Fanny Rapol in their Premier Crew Pomade Block. If you like these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button right here and stay tuned for more videos. Here we're picking Pinot Noir within a small clove in Les Chameaux in Pomard Burgundy. So a clo means a stone wall which goes around the outside of the vineyard and Premier Crew means it's amongst the top sites. In the Pomard area, the best classification you can have is Premier Cru. So guys, if you saw our last video, which is in Pomard Village, uh, we'll leave a link just here so you can have a look. So these two plots are less than 200 metres apart, but the wine to they make are totally different. So in the Premier Cru block, we find there's more aromas, colour, tannins, and more body and structure than the village plot that was about, you know, less than 200 metres away. With his smaller premium vineyards, Lucien prefers to pick the grapes and put them directly into the crates and then transport them up to the winery, as opposed to putting the fruit into the trailer. So with these uh, smaller plots, some of them are only four rows in a vineyard, like the Bone Vineyard, and in the winery that could make, you know, perhaps just one barrel of wine for those smaller plots. The best vineyards in Burgundy are classified as Grand Cru because of their terroir. So what this means is they have the best soils, slope, aspect, climate, geology, which has all the ingredients to make the high quality wines. This is the most expensive vineyard real estate in the world, uh, so you can expect to pay high prices for these wines. So those top Grand Cru vineyards, they represent about 2% of the total production. Sitting just below this, we have Premier Cru classification. So these are also excellent sites for viticulture and you can find some amazing wines through this classification in Burgundy. So the vineyards that don't make the cut for the Grand Cru or Premier Cru classification, these are either going to be classified as a village plot or as regional. So if you know the producers, you can find excellent value throughout these wines. In the winery, every batch of grapes is handled identically and each batch is followed through and kept separately throughout the process. But what you end up with is completely different wines from each batch and all this comes down to the differences in the terroir. Once the grapes are in the tank, we add a little bit of sulfur dioxide and what this does is just prevents any microbial spoilage but also en enables a, a pre-ferment soak. So what I mean by this, it just prevents fermentation for a few days and that gives you a head start on the extraction of the colour and the tannin from the skins. Lucia prefers to use wild yeast for all these fermentations and what this does is gives him a better expression of terroir for each plot. Stay tuned for more episodes, guys, where you'll see a bit of action from within the winery. Um, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe just here, and thanks, guys, for watching. If you've got any questions about the winemaking process or working in Burgundy, uh, just hit us up in the comments section below. Cheers, guys.